Good afternoon folks and welcome to part three of Ireland from the beginning. Uh, I apologise last week I got set up a little bit too late and it was a dark evening so it didn't really come out too well. I was in the shadows here. It's a much better day today and you can see the the cock step in the in the length of the evenings and I'm just here catching the last of the sun through the windows. Uh, today I want to divert a little bit from um, actual social history or military history, political history. I want to talk about the landscape itself because today or this week is uh, I suppose it will go down in infamy um, because it was the day or it was the week the earlier, earlier on this week I think it was Monday that the government said that the state industry that harvested turf from the Midlands would now cease because of uh, European regulations and indeed efforts to uh, save a carbon uh, carbon sink and that's exactly what the Midlands of Ireland were. They say that Ireland is a, um, a beautiful or is a fairly boring portrait surrounded by a gilded frame and it's not true but uh, definitely a lot of people especially who don't live in Ireland would look on Galway and Mayo and Donegal and Kerry and Cork, Waterford, Dublin, Wicklow, the mountainous regions, the frame of Ireland as more scenic um, and more attractive than the bogs. But the bogs themselves, the central bogs, are very, very important and will be very important in the future as a carbon sink. Um, so what we have here is we have processed turf or mown, as I say in Irish, that's M-O-I-N. Um, and actually that's what's said on it, M-O-I-N. And the state company that is now coming into, <laughs> into cessation is called Board Namona, or the turf, the board concerning turf. So what we have is the disappearance of peat and compressed peat and compressed turf. And we have the emergence which I use on the fire today because it's reluctant to light and the emergence of a more, well indeed packaged, uh, a more um, um, industrialised um, piece of um, fuel in the, um, in the guise of a, a compressed resin. And before I leave you, I want to, I've just, I can read the benefits of this new Vangle compressed resin and therefore no fire lighters or kindling required. They're suitable for open fires, mine and stoves. It offers instant heat and it's it has no expiry date. So I thought that was fairly ironic. It has no expiry date. Um, unlike the ancient pieces of turf formed over millions of years in the central bogs, uh, a bit like uh, land-based fossil, fossilized like coral uh, in that it, it's compressed over millions of years, all those um, plant life compressed into those fabulous pieces of turf that Irish people lived on up until today uh, for millennia. So next week we'll eventually get on to Leolithic Man, but I thought I would, I'll just mark this, um, this week of infamy, infamy where we no longer will be using turf to heat our fires in the future. Thank you, August. Good day, shift slow.